This is Twit. We learned it was a week ago there was a rumor that uh, about a credit card breach. And I think I might have actually first learned of it from a buddy of mine who is a home improvement guy and spends a lot of time going back and forth between Home Depot and his home uh, because they alerted their customers to something they were investigating, yet they were warning everyone that there was a problem. Well, it turns out that it, it is a massive credit card breach using the, believe it or not, a version of an updated version of the same malware that got Target in that famous huge Target breach um, in last December. Um, so, you know, we're coming up on a year that it's been. Um, uh, Home Depot is also using XP embedded, as was Target. So Home Depot didn't make any changes, apparently, to their system um, despite being a large retailer with the same point of purchase systems that Target was using. Um, so this um, uh, black POS malware variant got in. Now, the damage is extreme because a ton of data was exfiltrated. Brian Krebs has been on this from the beginning, you know, and we've talked about Brian's work. He's he he spends a lot of time down there and in, into the dark underbelly of the internet, and um, so he reported that uh, despite Home Depot's quick claim that no credit card pin data was stolen, uh, and that actually appears to be correct. Multiple financial institutions were reporting to him at, at his request that they're seeing a steep upswing over the past few days in fraudulent ATM withdrawals. So after some more research, we know, we know what's going on. Um, enough data was stolen to give the bad guys the ability to convince the banks that they're the legitimate card owner and then reset the pin. So um, people got their uh, card numbers, the full name and the city, the state, and the zip was lost from Home Depot. Um, and, and, and again, what that allows with some research is for, for people then to, to use Often the bank's automated systems, so they're not having even talked to a human being. Banks have, have you know, aut automated call handlers where you just use your uh, touchtone keypad to enter the requested data. And by th there's enough information that um, they're able to uh, essentially reset the pin to something they know and then go to ATMs and pull cash out. So, uh, and in fact, Brian reported that he'd heard from the manager of a large unnamed West Coast bank that had lost more than $300,000 in two hours yesterday, meaning Monday of this week. We're recording this on Tuesday. So on, on September 8th, yesterday, $300,000 was transferred on through through fraudulent withdrawals in two hours due to pin fraud on multiple debit cards that had all been used recently at Home Depot. So, you know, a, another uh, big bad breach. And, uh, you know, one, once again, unupdated Windows XP embedded. Not like this was a zero-day flaw. These are systems which had, had not had updates for a year. So this so this malware is using a well-known exploit, but people don't think of these things as being PCs. They think of them as, you know, being credit card terminals, despite the fact that it's got, you know, a full function, very powerful uh, OS embedded in it, which, you know, was their first mistake rather than using something obscure, you know, a, a like a, a traditional real-time operating system rather than a commercial, um, you know, w Windows desktop system. But it's less easy to develop for those. You can't program those in Visual Basic the way you can Windows.